Hi, my name's Dan Jenkins and I'm from Science and Plants for Schools and I'm going to talk about plant defences and adaptations today and we've got a really easy and an interesting practical for your students to do using the stinging nettle. A stinging nettle has got a fantastic adaptation. If you think about how many times you've been stung by them, it's just a brilliant one to use with your students. And we're going to get your students to look at the mechanism by which the stings work. For us, we know that it's a, on the underside of the leaf there are modified cells which are needle-like projections which are contained with formic acid, the very same acid that ants bites cause irritation with on your skin. Um, it's a really simple investigation for them to look at. All they need to do is grab a, a stinging nettle leaf and you should be able to find a stinging nettle somewhere in your school grounds, they're everywhere. Uh, you take a slice of your stinging nettle leaf on your slide and I'm wearing gloves to do this for obvious reasons uh, and you put the uppermost, uh, sorry, the lowermost surface of the leaf um, facing you on the slide. You take a piece of universal indicator paper, just standard universal indicator paper, and you're going to dip that into tap water just to moisten it. Then you're going to lay it over your piece of stinging nettle and using a piece of acetate, OHP material, just cut to the size of your uh, slide, you're going to press that over the slide pressing down on that uh, universal indicator paper and as you do that you'll be breaking those fragile stings and if you have a look at the ind indicator paper and hold it up to the light you'll see there are colour changes, little blotches of colour where the stings have burst and because it's acid we've got little yellow blotches there and you can get your students to, to analyse whether the stings are more prevalent on the higher leaves or the lower leaves um, and we've got loads of other investigations to do with plant adaptations on our website. If you go to www.saps.org.uk, we've got student sheets for the practical as to how to do this. We've got teacher notes and we've got technician notes. Go have a look and, and see what you find.